Hello students. Today we are going to start lesson number 3. That is prepositions of place, time and movement. In lower classes we have already learnt about what are prepositions. Prepositions are the words which tell us the position of noun. But now we will understand prepositions of place, time and movement. Look at the following sentences. The peacock is sitting on the branch. The newspaper is beside the table. The students are studying inside the library. Here, the subject, the peacock, is sitting. Where it is sitting? On the branch. So, on. Here, on is showing us the position of the peacock. The newspaper is beside the table. Beside, this word is showing us the position of newspaper. Inside the library, it is showing that where the students are. So, here on, beside and inside tell us about the location of the peacock, the newspaper and the puppets. Here, it should be the students. It is little misprinting. It should be the students. Such prepositions are called prepositions of place. See, on, besides, inside. These words are representing the place. So, prepositions of place tell us about the location of a noun or a pronoun. It tells us the location. It tells us exactly what is the place. Some prepositions of place are on, in, at, behind, beside, inside and beneath. Examples. Her apartment is on the fourth floor. This is the best burger in the world. He hung his coat behind the door. So, all these words represent the place. Now, look at the following sentences. Rishi was born in 2008. My alarm clock rings at 7 a.m. She was so nervous during the competition. Now, here in at and during. These are the prepositions. In these sentences, in, at and during tell us the time of actions. That is, Rishi being born, alarm clock ringing and she being nervous. Such prepositions are called prepositions of time. So, preposition of time tell us about the time of action. Whatever the action of a noun or pronoun is there, it tells us about its time. Some preposition of time are at, in, on, during, since, for, ago and before. Examples. We have our breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning. So, at 8 o'clock in the morning. Ramesh has been swimming for the past two hours. My grandparents went on a pilgrimage three years ago. All these represents time. Now read the following sentences. The monkey jumped over the trees. They were marching towards the fields. Rhea walked around the tree. In these sentences above, over, through and around tell us about the movement. It tells us about the direction of the monkey, they and Rhea. Such prepositions are called preposition of movement or direction. So, prepositions of movement or direction tell us about the movement or direction of a noun or pronoun. Here we are seeing the direction of a noun or a pronoun that where it is moving. Some prepositions of movement are through, towards, over, across, into and along. Let us see the examples. Hishma walked along the road. They got into the car and left. The dogs ran towards me. So, these are the 
movement. So students, now let us start question number one of the exercise. Underline the prepositions in the following sentences. Write P for prepositions of place, T for prepositions of time and M for prepositions of movement or direction. So A. Now here in these sentences, firstly find out the preposition and underline it. Then after you have to identify the preposition's type. Suppose whatever preposition you have underlined, you have to write its type. So pour the milk into the pen. So into the pen, it is preposition of movement. So we will write here M. B. Put the heavy box on the floor. So on. So it is the preposition of place. We will write here P. C. We submitted the project before the last date of submission. So before. It represents the time. So preposition of time. And we will write here T. So in the same way you have to do D to F in homework. Now read the following sentences. The new teacher entered the classroom. Not entered into. Priya said that she was the same age as her friend. Not of the same age. She said there will be a quiz competition next month. Not in next month. So you see. Here we have not used the preposition in these sentences. It should not be into, entered into. Here it should not be of the same age. Here it should not be in next month. Some expressions and words are used without prepositions. Few places, at few places or few expre expressions, prepositions are not used. Examples, Sunita, Sunita married Puneet yesterday. Not married to. This actor resembles Amitabh Bachchan a lot. Not resembles to. The local train arrives every 15 minutes. Not in every. We have not used in here. What color are his eyes? Not of what. Anita has reached home safely. It not at home. So, in some expressions, we remove the preposition even if it is correctly used. The sentence makes complete sense without the prepositions. Now, let us start with the question number 2. Complete the following sentences using the correct preposition from the box. Some prepositions can be used in more than one sentences. Now students, you are given the blanks. You have to fill these blanks from the words, from the prepositions which are given in this box. And few words can be used in more than one sentence. A. We drove blank the highway for some time. Now here, there are two possibilities. We drove along the highway for some time and we drove on the highway for some time. So, if you write any one from this two, that is correct. B. Chandan left a few minutes ago. The children are learning computer blank the computer lab. In the computer lab. So, students, in the same way, you have to complete D to F in homework. Now, let us start question number three. Take the appropriate preposition. Mention its type in the blank. You have to tick mark the correct preposition from the blank and options given. And then you have to mention the type of the preposition. My friend has sent me a gift. Blank Nagpur. Now over, from and before. So from Nagpur. So what is from? It is representing the place. So preposition of place. B. Titanic sank blank the Atlantic Ocean. It sank into the Atlantic Ocean. It was not over the ocean. It was not across the 
ocean it was in two so this represents the direction so we will write here preposition of movement or you can also write preposition of direction see the party started blank 7 pm at 7 pm so preposition of time it's re it represents the time so students in same way you have to complete from d to f in your homework now we'll start with question number four underline the prepositions that are not required one is done for you now here what you have to do you have to underline the prepositions which are not required so first is done for us a akanksha has no money to book the tickets with now with is not required to book the tickets still here the meaning of the sentence is clear it is giving us a correct meaning so no need to use with the tourists are discussing about their next destination so it should be the tourists are discussing their next destination even if we are not using about the meaning of the sentence is clear so about is not required c you need to take the medicine in every two hours so you need to take medicine this medicine every two hours in is not required here so we'll underline in so understood students in the same way you have to do d to f in your homework now the last exercise of this lesson question number five identify the errors and rewrite the sentences correctly one is done for you now we are given few sentences here we have to identify the errors in these sentences and then we have to rewrite in this line given below all my friends came at home in my birthday now all my friends came home on my birthday will remove at and at the place of in we will use on number two my cousin married to my friend's elder sister so the answer will be my cousin married my friend's elder sister we do not need to mention two here without two the meaning is clear number c anu said my little brother resembles to my mother so anu said my little brother resembles my mother we will not use to here so understood students in the same way you have to do from d to f in your homework